Good morning. Good morning. God bless you this morning. This morning, I have a special message for the city of Barry. You see, it has come to my understanding that there's new laws that are put in place for homeless people to change the situation of homeless people. Now, this decision that the city has come with goes against homeless people. For example, I know that they have provided a solution, right? But the solution is not enough to help the homeless people by indicating that in the coming near future, they won't be able to, you know, post their tents on public grounds. They won't be able to panhandle. They won't be able to do so many things that, you know, sort of gives them hope in the sense that they have, you know, $825,000 each year that the city or the government, the federal government is providing for the city in order to help the homeless. So meaning that, you know, they have shelters. However, we know that there's not enough shelters for the amount of homeless people in the city of Barrie. And so even the bus drivers of this city, right, have concerns about the coming, what's going to take place. Now we know that even the homeless people may be facing a lot of difficulties, we need to understand that they provide a lot of intel and help to the police. Many of the crimes in this city that are solved is due to homeless people providing intel because they are out there all the time. So if we, the city, Right. If the people, the councillors, parliament have decided that they're going to initially do certain things that's going to take away from their position, that's going to cause a lot of problems simply because they have not provided, you know, a great enough solution for all homeless people where maybe they can, you know, establish a land, you know, at the outskirts of Barry. Is in Barry, but it's at the back part of Barry, where they can, you know, have the options to be able to camp there during the summertime, you know, and winter time, so that if they can't camp in public grounds in the middle of the city, at least they have a spot, right? Because the places, the shelters, is not enough, right? So. We cannot just get rid of them simply because homelessness is not, you know, a temporary position. Sometimes it becomes a permanent for a long, long time in many, many people's lives. And it's not only, you know, every homeless person that's under the influence of drugs. We have to understand this. So what about those people that hit a bad patch or their homes went on fire and or they lost everything due to, you know, certain investments or due to the, the, the change of the economy, right? So we know that this is an ongoing problem and it's growing as the months, you know, as the months come. So my suggestion is that the city needs to reconsider the laws that they put in place because if they do not, right, the crimes that will take place will increase and the solutions will decrease simply because if the homeless community is going against the city simply because they are not being treated fairly or inhumane due to the changes of the laws, right? 
and the solution that is provided for them is simply not enough, then, you know, they're going to resort to finding their own solution. And chances are, they're going to make the wrong choices because come winter, if they don't have places to stay and they can't stay in their usual spots, they're going to probably, you know, most likely commit some type of crime in order to go to jail, which is going to bring an exhausting problem to, you know, the police force, to the government, simply because if somebody commits a crime, you're going to what? bring charges against them and put them in jail however you have to house them you have to pay so it's costing the city and the country money simply because people don't have a place to stay and they'll rather go to jail so that at least they have a bed and they get three meals and health care and all of these things for free right but it's coming out of what the taxpayers money so I am just saying, by doing this, you're increasing crime for the near future. You're going to just even pay attention because this is not something that, you know, I want to happen. But due to the things that are taking place, that's what's going to happen. Right? We need to do better. We do need to do better. Because if we don't do better, right? especially when it comes to homeless people and the fact that, you know, every single day they carry on hope. You know, a lot of these people are under the influence of drugs because they want to survive. They don't have a home, right? They don't have hope. They don't know when they're going to get their next meal. If all of these things are being taken little by little from them, do you think that they're going to be better off or they're going to be worse? Chances are they're going to be worse and it's going to affect everybody else because there's going to be tourists coming, right? Tourists can be in danger. People of this community could be in danger, right? Even, um, what's it called? Look what's taking place in America right now, right? The homelessness population have increased aggressively. Violence have increased aggressively. So what's stopping these people if they have no hope? Or they don't know when they're going to get their next meal from, you know, um, committing crimes against people in public. Or doing all kinds of things just for survival. Right? So, think about it. Reconsider the vote that you guys put in place. It was, what, 11 to nothing vote? People reconsider because I know you're trying to solve the solution. The $825,000 each year that you're providing in order to, you know, better a situation or organize it. Right now, that is not enough solution. Unless you can provide them land where you can say, this is a land that you guys can stay on. Where you can, you know, locate an address on that land and then give them opportunities so that they can actually get jobs in, you know, either the neighboring towns or in the city of Barrie so that, you know, they can be able to uplift themselves. Because if they're homeless, they don't have an address, they can't get jobs. They'll be in that position for a long time unless they get outside help. But if the outside help is not enough, then they're stuck in the middle, right? So I had to say this because it is what it is. It's the truth, right? I hope it gets to somebody who can hear and understand what I am saying. You have a solution, but the solution is not enough, right? So if it's not enough, you don't want the homeless community, right, going against the system simply because they provide a lot of help for a lot of solutions in this city, right? To keep these cities safe. Because they're there. How much intel have they given to the, the police force? They have. I'm telling you, that's the obvious truth. If they go against it and they're not being looked after, they could be in problems.